What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Okay, so <laughs> look at this. Do you guys remember when we had this in Pokemon games? You know, previously on your quest. I kind of feel like you need to do that, or you need to have that. I don't know. But look at this. Draven had a marvelous fight, and he had defeated Gary. He made him look very, very bad. And now he's crying to his mama about how he got his butt kicked in the Pokemon League. That's right. So, here we are in Pallet Town. So, here's the thing, guys. After defeating the Elite Four, Professor Oak will come up to you and be like, Ah, Draven, you're back, are you? How much have you filled of your, uh, in your Pokédex? May I see it? Let's see. You've caught 93? Now this is impressive. There's something I wanted to ask you, Draven. Come follow me. So, you guys gotta remember this. If you guys have already captured 60 Pokémon by the time you get here, Professor Oak will give you something nice. Finally! Other than the Pokedex and a Pokemon. Anywho, here is Professor Oak. He's like, recently there have been sightings of many rare uh, Pokemon species. I'm talking about Pokemon that don't, that have never uh, been seen in Kanto. I would love to go and see uh, see things for myself, but I'm too much or much too old. Since I can't do it, Draven, I'd like you to go in my place. And <laughs> here's Gary. Here's Gary, and he is uh, not happy about this. He's like, hey, I heard that, Gramps. What's, the, what's with favorite Draven over me all the time? I went and collected more Pokemon fa and faster too. You should be, you should just let me handle everything. I know, I know, but here's the thing, Gary. I never really liked you at all. <laughs> I think that's pretty much what he's trying to say. Of course, I need your help too. Now I need to I need to see both your Pokédexes. So here we are, giving him the Pokédexes. He is doing this. He's doing that, and that's done. Now these units can record data on a lot more Pokemon. So, here it is, guys. We got ourselves our upgraded Pokedex. Now, Draven and Gary. This time, you really must work towards filling your Pokedexes. I urge you to make them all the best and most complete of all time. Truly, this is a moment moment. Oh, wait, I can't even say that word. Monumentally, ah, oh, there we go. Monumentally great undertaking in Pokemon history. Gary's gonna be like, Gramps, calm down. Don't get too excited. I'll get the Pokédex completed. Don't you worry about a thing. I think I'll try looking around for one island first. Anyways, I'm out of here. Flipping you off, Gary. I am flipping you off all the friggin' time. Anywho, let's see. Oh yeah, he's telling us the Pokémon world awaits. So what happened next, guys, is we got ourselves the National Dex. Look at this. Mm-hmm. The National Dex. So, if you guys have a Pokemon such as, I don't know, freaking Golbat, maybe even, you know, an Eevee and it was trying to evolve because you kind of raised its happiness and it couldn't evolve, you know, before you beat the Elite Four, now you can. Now you can do that. So, that's what we're going to be doing, right? So we're going to be going straight to one island and uh, we're going to be taking care of business right there. Now, another thing that you guys have uh, should notice is, let's see, the trainer card has changed color. Look at that. We have a star right there saying that we are the champs and Gary can go suck it. And that's right. Hall of Fame debut. 66 hours. 12 Pokemon trades. That's a first. Now, normally, in the regular games, it takes me about like 24 maybe 30 hours to get this whole game like you know into the Hall of Fame and all that stuff never have I ever tried to do any kind of uh, what was it called uh, trades until right now but we got it done we got it done anywho let's go right ahead and fly straight to our mamas or not our mamas but straight to uh, Vir Viridian City or Vermilion City I should say I always get those two confused all right so let's go right here there it is and just like that, we are in Vermilion City. Uh, let's see, another thing too. Let's see, let's go straight to the summary. Yeah, we don't, we don't have a, what was it called? A, we don't have a, what would you call it? The championship ribbons right there. Now, we're going to be going straight into the same old port. And we're going to be going right here, talking to this guy. He's like, ah, you have a tripass. Would you like to get on uh, board to the Sea Gallop Ferry? Yes. Let's go to one island right here. And everything is ordered. Yes. Let's go. Okay, so here we are, guys. Back in one island. And, well, things have changed. I mean, everybody's leveled up. A little bit 
And what else? What else? What else? Oh, yes. Yeah, Bill. So we got to go straight into the Pokemon Center right here. And, well, it's not Bill, but it's Celio right here. You talk to him. He's like, Draven, how have things been for you? Oh, is that right? You've got more Pokemon. Do you know what? Maybe I can be you, or maybe I can be useful to you. I'm modifying the network machine right now. I'm changing it so it can handle trades over long distances. When I get finished, you'll be trading exotic from, or you'll be trading for exotic Pokemon from trainers far away. But there is a slight catch. For the link to work, the machine needs a special gemstone. It's supposed to be on one island, but I haven't found one yet. Who knows where it could be? Well, a mission is afoot. Uh, the only thing is that yes, we can we can use the uh, the PC right here, guys. The thing is, now many of you guys were thinking, well, we could trade to Pokemon Emerald, Ruby, Sapphire, and all that crud. But this needs a uh, you know two specific gemstones to actually get that started. So now we gotta we gotta make our way back up to Mount Ember because if you guys remember, yes, there were some Team Rocket me uh, members around that area, and uh, they were up to no good. We even battled them, but still, it was something. Now, a little story. A little story about uh, back then, when I was actually playing Pokemon Fire Red. Uh, yes, again, internet, permission, all that stuff. Didn't really, uh, yeah, didn't really take to the internet so much, because, you know, you had to ask permission to, to use that, alongside TV, playing video games, and all that crud, guys. Yeah, I lived in one of those times. Um, so, it took me a while to realize that... I had to actually capture 60 Pokemon in order to in order to actually make it over here into or or actually you know progress this whole story. The other fun, the other funny thing too, guys, was that I was kind of wondering, okay, why, 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 okay, so why why is it the Pokemon League not working? Why is uh, Lorelai missing or something like that? Yeah, you know, trying to figure that one out. And well, there they are. And he's like, whew, punch through the uh, punch through at last. Let's go treasure hunting. Any treasure we find, we haul back to the warehouse. Understood? Oh, and what are the passwords? At the rocket warehouse, I mean? Wait, you forgot the password? There are actually two. The first one's gold, uh, Goldine Need Log. And the second one is... Oh, crud. Hey! This snoop's been missing in. Okay, so it looks like we have to battle. Okay. Alright, it's, uh, it's time to kick some butt, take some names right here. Let's get this. Anywho, here we are taking on a Team Rocket Grunt, and yes, he will be coming out with a Cubone. As you guys can see, it's a level 37, and we're going to be speeding up as always because we can. And, well, let's see, what else? Oh, yes, Marowak is going to be coming out, and yes, I do have a Marowak, so let's go with Smoke. Been a while, Smoke. And Psychic Attack for the win, and that's one down, another one to go. Why'd you have to win? Let's go with this guy right here. Trying to horn in on our treasure? Don't be on it. Or don't bet on it. Holy crap. Okay, so here we go. Taking on another Team Rocket member. And this one right here is coming out with his Ratatata. And Shocker's about to thunder its... Oh, wow. Yeah. We Good thing we got that guy with the thunder before he uh, could actually hit me with that, uh, that, 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 that fang. Because, yeah, that would have been bad. Anywho... Smasher, Rock Slide, Earthquake, and there we go. For the win, and he's coming out with a Sand Slash. Okay. So, let's go to Leonardo. It's been a while, buddy. And Surf Attack for the win. And, yes, we're going to give everybody a little bit of love right here. So, another thing that we, 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 we should be talking about is uh, the different kinds of Pokemon that you'll find right here. There's quite a few. Not a lot of, uh, not a lot of Johto Pokemon. Not a lot of uh, Hoenn Pokemon, but still, it's a uh, it's quite a few Pokemon that you'll be able to find. The other funny thing too is that yes, you will be able to find um, let's see some uh, rare items around this area right here, not here, but in all of the Sevi Islands, in order to trade specific Pokemon for trade evolutions and whatnot. Uh, now that you, if you guys have a Zubat. If you have a Zubat evolved into a Golbat, and then you've, been, you've been noticing that, yes, it wants to evolve, this is now the time to actually get it to evolve. And, well, we need a Pokemon with Sir, or Strength, right here. So let's go right ahead and uh, use our good old buddy right here. And there we go. Push that to the side. Push that up, sir. And there you go. Look at you. Okay. Now, let's see. 
I think I should probably waste my repel right here just so I can actually show you what kind of Pokemon you can actually find right here because yes I will be capturing some of these Pokemon and uh, what was the other thing that I could be doing too oh yes uh, going into the Pokemon League yes I will be having some some other Pokemon on the team that way we can actually you know congratulate them on their Pokemon League accomplishments uh, that's if when I progress over in Pokemon Emerald and other stuff and there we go we will be using some Pokemon from Leaf Green to get to the the very end of this whole thing, and yeah, this <laughs> yeah this hasn't been uh, <laughs> yeah we we didn't get to the end right here. That was actually the shortcut. So let's see what happens. Uh, let's see. Press this button right here. Need to focus just a little bit more, and push that right here. Push that to the top, and let's see. We go right here, and we'll be able to find what we're looking for. There we go. There it is. And bam. Okay, so this seems a little familiar if you guys catch my drift. You come in here, you're going to be looking at some stuff with some braille. Yes, who the heck's, who the heck's idea was it to, to put braille in any of these Pokemon games? I don't know. Comment down below. You know who you are. But if you guys know exactly what this all, well, yeah, what this all says, just make sure to comment down below. I will pin it. That way people can know. And, uh, yes, the repel has worn off. Let's go right here. And would you look at that? We have found ourselves a ruby. Now, before we get that ruby, grab this. What does that say? I do not know. Again, you're more than welcome to comment down below to let me know what this says. Yes, I don't know what it says. Dot, 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 dot. Okay, and there we go. We found ourselves a ruby. Okay, so... Do I have an escape rope on me? Probably not. I probably sold it all in all. Oh, there we go. <laughs> always, keep, always keep escape ropes, guys. So there it is. We got the escape rope. Here we are back in Mount Ember. And you know what? Let's go ahead and show the new Pokemon that you can actually find. So I think my repel has worn off, probably. I don't know. And there it is. That is not the rare Pokemon that we're talking about. Okay, so move on ahead. What if we go straight inside the volcano? Let's see, right here. Right here, and... Nope, that's not the rare Pokemon. I swear to God, you could actually find it right in here, guys. <laughs> and no, okay. You know what, it's going to take me a while to actually find this Pokemon, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here it is, guys. We have found one of those rare Pokemon. Not so rare, but it is a Slugma a Pokemon that is from the Johto region. And one of my biggest questions back in the day was that, how come in Generation 3, yeah, like, how come in Generation 3 there was not a lot of uh, Generation 2 features and all that stuff? I know that in Pokemon Emerald, um, what was it? Once you complete the whole Pokédex, or seeing every single Pokémon, you will be able to actually find, like, to actually choose a starter Pokémon from the Jota, or, for, yeah, from the Jota region, and, you know, that was always, yeah, again, that was always my biggest question right there. Kind of, a uh, yeah, kind of wondered. But thankfully, in the following generation, we got a remake, we got many more openings to getting these, uh, Jota, Jota Pokémon. I kind of missed it when I was about... When I was like 14, 15 at the time. So as you guys can see, here we have Slugma, the lava Pokemon, a common sight in volcanic areas. It is slow, or it slowly slithers around in a constant search for for warm places. Okay. So yes, we're not going to be naming this Pokemon, but yes, it is slow. It is very defensive. Let's move on. I will be right back with you guys. I am going to be right back with Celia. Alrighty guys, so here we are back in the Pokemon Center in one island and all you gotta do now is go straight to Celio and this is what's gonna happen. Oh! That's... Yes, that is a ruby. Yes sir, a ruby. And just like that, it activates one portion of this whole machine and he's like, thank you Draven! You're simply amazing. Dot, dot, dot. Um, may I ask... May I ask one more giant favor of you? Yes. While I was studying gemstones, I discovered something important. There is another gem that forms a pair with this ruby. That other gemstone is supposed to be in the Sevi Islands. Draven, please, I need you to go to find the other gem. Draven, may I have your fairy pass and town map? And there it is. 
Look at that, we got a tripass. Holy crap. Oh damn! And we got another page to the to the the, the whole uh, map, and this is my own fairy pass. It will let you or it will let you go and get to all the Sevy Islands. Draven, please, I can't do it without your help. What is he talking about? Let's go straight to the maps and see what we're looking at. This right here surprised me. I was, uh, you know, I was a bit taken back back when I was a kid, and well, as you guys can see, here we have five island and four island, and let's see, what else? Six and seven island, hence the name uh, Sevy Islands and all that stuff. So what we're going to be doing in the next two episodes, guys, is we're going to be going through at least two, well, back-to-back -back islands, yeah, that way we can actually finish this walkthrough. I uh, believe that will be, like, what, episode 27 and 28? And then by 29 and 30, I, hopefully we should be doing something different. There, I know that we got a lot more stuff, like the other leg legendary Pokemon that we have, but it will happen. Anywho, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being uh, very, very patient. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red Walkthrough. See you guys.